So towards the end of January, Emirates, which is the biggest operator of the Airbus A380, said they're more interested in the smaller, more fuel-efficient A350 and they're looking to swap their order. Now there are many people out there who are saying that this will most definitely hurt the Airbus company, and I agree with them. But I have the unpopular opinion that it will also hurt Boeing if they decide to go ahead and cancel their 4787-10 Dreamliner order. Now, what we have to bear in mind is that while a possible order cancellation does seem bad for Airbus, it could also mean that their Dreamliner order will not be firmed as Emirates should not be able to secure discounts on Airbus planes in combination with discounts from Rolls-Royce. Where Boeing could win is by securing orders for the Boeing 777X to replace their 20-unit order for the A380 with deliveries from 2020 onwards. There is even a scenario in which the 787, the 777X and the A350-1000 could constitute the core of Emirates' fleet. It's also possible that Emirates still wants to take the A380 order but with a significant discount from Rolls-Royce. After all, negotiations always happen behind closed doors and only if negotiations are going smoothly we see the details in the media. You have to remember that it's a crafted game to increase pressure on the manufacturers. Now for Airbus, this is a point to decide whether they will continue the A380 program. While Emirates has been pushing them to look for new customers, it seems like they haven't been able to find any. Currently, Airbus is producing the A380 at break-even point, while it could secure orders with Emirates for smaller aircraft that it could produce with more profits. The big question is when there will be clarity on the future of the plane and the Emirates order. Airbus will most likely want clarity before Tom Enders departs as CEO of Airbus in the first half of the year, while Emirates likely would use the Dubai Airshow of 2019 as a main stage to announce new orders. Now, disagreements between Emirates and Rolls-Royce currently seems to be the main reason of an approaching end for the Airbus A380 program. But what should also be considered is that Emirates tends to order in huge quantities, and it does happen that their requirements change during the years, or new aircraft that they might be interested in enters the market. Now, the A350 was ordered at a time when the 787-10 was not available, and the order was cancelled when the 777X and also the Dreamliner were available and Emirates was still aiming for rapid capacity expansion. Now that capacity expansion is not the primary aim for the airline, Emirates' needs and desires are also changing. Although it seems like Emirates is not happy with Rolls-Royce is the sole reason for Emirates renewing their fleet, it's also a combination of things where inefficient capacity growth resulting in additional pressure seems to have contributed to Emirates reviewing their fleet requirements. There's also a chance for Boeing with the 777X and for the 777-9 to be preferred as an A380 replacement. But if Airbus plays it well and a more conscious capacity expansion is desired, Emirates will be taking the A350, possibly even the A330neo instead of the Dreamliner. With possible changes in the airline's long-term fleet strategy, the competition for an order from Emirates for a medium wide-body plane is open again, while it does seem to fall in Boeing's way in November 2017. Maybe the lack of firm orders from Emirates in December for the Dreamliner was a clear signal that it wouldn't be the first time that an agreement for the Dreamliner is lagging without a firm agreement, and this happened the same with Malaysia Airlines. What Boeing should try to do is prevent opening the new medium wide-body competition that turns into an order for an aircraft that could potentially replace the 777-300ER for which Emirates ordered the 777X. It might sound extremely counterintuitive, but Airbus losing orders from Emirates for the A380 could have implications for the Dreamliner and possibly even the 777X. In the most positive scenario for Boeing, Boeing takes it all and provides the Dreamliner as well as the 777X to Emirates, which would open opportunities for Boeing to sell more Dreamliners and 777X planes to the airline in the future. Now, if the Airbus A330neo is to become part of the airline's fleet, that is likely going to go at the expense of the Dreamliner agreement, while a combination of Airbus A350 and the 777X would uncover the fleet requirements to serve secondary cities in the US, but would spread the replacement of the 777-300ER over two types of planes. It would, however, put the 777X in the position to gather additional sales to form a long-term replacement for the A380. So, all in all, there are opportunities for both manufacturers involved, but if the agreement with Emirates didn't lapse already, then I think Boeing will feel pretty calm with the airline's current fleet plan, in which Boeing is to provide two aircraft types. And if unfortunately the sun sets for the A380, 
Boeing could even look to sell more of the 777-9 aircraft to Emirates and possibly even stretch the Dash 9 to the 777-10X. The current situation with Rolls-Royce and Emirates allows Airbus to pitch the A330neo and the A350, putting a lot of pressure on Boeing to meet a competitive order. So there you go captains, that was my view on what I thought about this whole situation. If you have any further comments or opinions to add, then by all means do share them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys, remember to like and subscribe for more aviation videos and I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.